Hello everybody, welcome to the most fun game number 12, um, equal TV match against Chaos, and what does he have, a claw mighty blow, mighty blow, only 11 players but he's got a dodge, but I've got a tackle now, um, he's got agility block, loads of block, a couple of guard, a couple of dodge, this team seems better doesn't it, I mean I guess Chaos are just better than Nurgle anyway really. When you think his warriors are cheaper and better, and um, his beastmen are cheaper, I wouldn't mind the, I wouldn't mind the beast here to have 140 TV advantage. But never mind. I will try to qualify with them. Yeah, Logan the Great, seeing as seeing as they've started off immensely, immensely immense, eight to one, such a good record. I've got to try to um, got to try having I'll had to try. I'll put Nurgle, Nurgle Champion Ladder as the title. Yeah, got to, got to try to qualify. Oh man, I can't believe Fumble are removing piling on and just replacing it with nothing. It's so bad that they just take given 20, 20 TV a bloke to every piling on die. That really sucks. Kills uh, kills a lot of my teams. <laughs> worst matchup, yeah, it's a it's a worst matchup, worst possible matchup. It'll come down to who rolls better, probably. Sinorus got on my nerves. Dude. Okay, don't know what that means. Receive and hopefully my claw mighty blow. Is better than his claw mighty blow. That's unfortunately <laughs> going to be the extent of the tactics in this match. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is in the fighting, my guys have got regen and foul appearance, so like they are better at fighting. The warriors are better at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kurgal. Um, this is the first game, so we're about to find out. Fourteen forty. He's got the guard advantage. Um, and the strength advantage, and the dodge advantage, and the block advantage, um, but and the movement advantage. But you know, apart from that, it's looking great. <laughs> Hopefully, I've got the coaching advantage. He's got the throw rock and get the ref kick off events cancelled. I'm okay with that. Thank you, Kurgo. Um. Yeah, I'm okay with him cancelling those. That's good, isn't it? Discord isn't working for me today, which is a shame. Right, he can. He, he's just put his dodge on the line, ready to get hit by him, which is good. Right, I'll just keep this up. It's quite good. Quite good against the bash team, isn't it? Sure, if he gets a blitz and the balls out here, I'm fucked. But if it, if the blitz, if the ball's somewhere here, he's, there's enough to make breaking through a little bit of a hassle. Maybe I could go one further across there. Maybe this is better. Fuck. <laughs> and he's got the agility advantage, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's also got the advantage of me starting with my movement fall guy on the pitch, I'm pretty sure. We'll find out. No agility phone is there, so it, it did it did save that setup, which is good. It is symmetrical. Oh no, it's not. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, got the disturbing presence. Aha. Rolled the power anyway. Typical. Hmm. Or blitz diagonally. If it's a push, got the assist here. If it's a board down, he's got a wrestle, which is fine. And if it's a pow, keep him in that tackle zone. Pretty good. Dudley death drop. Roll the pow. Feels amazing, man. Hmm, 
shame that he's a dirty player. I don't really want him blitz. Otherwise, you can blitz him with a put the guard in and blitz him. I don't want to make a dodge, obviously, or two GFIs. Hmm. Shit. What a shit cunt. I guess he's going to get the claw. He's going to get claw mighty blow, but it's my claw mighty blow. Bollocks. I don't really want to foul. I guess just put him in so it's an extra assist when you should put the guard in there. Fuck. Hopefully he just rolls a one and doesn't get to fight him. <clears throat> Alright. No Discord just isn't working, Dream BG. Not the since change server, it's just literally like the program isn't working. Um Like nothing's nothing's working. The Discord program is not working. <laughs> it's just a grey screen. Aha, uh -huh, now it's connecting. Good. I closed it with task manager, so hopefully yeah, that's that's got it working. Now ah, of course. There you go, see so he I fucking don't make that I don't get the fucking guy in there. And he gets cast. I mean, that's the story of my life. I guess I should have exposed the dirty player. The dirty player getting cast was obviously better than him getting cast. But this is just right. I just can't be bothered. I'm just going to go straight for the camera off and uh, mute myself.
Good morning, Royal Naga. Welcome to a supremely tactical chess match of a game here where I gave up a claw mighty blow block on my claw mighty blow guy and he cast him. No regen, turn one. Now it was either that or expose my dirty player, and I didn't want to dis—I didn't want to get lose my dirty player, which is just fucking stupid, isn't it? Because it's clearly better to lose a dirty player than a fucking claw mighty blow. I don't know what I was fucking thinking. Absolutely fucking moronic. Hate myself. <laughs> Yeah, the other team's chaos, but I mean, same difference, innit? It's it's the same fucking difference. It's just fucked. It's just stupid. Just fucked on turn one. It's just like... And, you know, I could have done the same to him, except I'd fucking made a claw mighty blow block and a mighty blow block and did nothing. But he does love this fucking dodges here, doesn't he? Or did he just turn over? 
I'm gonna have to make a fucking dumbass. Dumbass go around the side here. I'm just gonna get banged on. Follow him. Give up the fucking claw mighty blow block. Seems good. Not. <laughs> Alright, good. Good. I just got randomly lucky as fuck. Alright, I accept the apples it. Mm hmm Dunno. You could go there. And make the foul. Like, I don't need to go f crazy forward. But I just don't want my fucking block mate blow guy to get banged on. Well, I guess he has to be. Foul with plus one. <sighs> Thing is, if I foul, he can break through here. Super easy. I guess I have to go here. Not foul. Try a dumbass breakthrough next turn. I'm sorry, I'm just really I'm just really sad right now, so um So that's why the camera's off and I'm just gonna mute myself a bit because I don't know, I just get I just get sad when I'm when I'm like you know when I want to win and I don't get to win, I get sad. Um so that's why I think I'll just stick to the pro tips and not care if I wanna lose. Like I know it sounds silly not caring if I wanna lose, but I'll try to not care whether I win or lose. No, I'm not running the beast stem. Somebody should link the uh I should have that link as a command, shouldn't I? Holy shit. Where is Where is the link? Is it cash me outside? How about that? No, it's not. No, I don't know where it is. Some, somebody must have it somewhere. Beast cunt. Yeah, it should be. It should be. Oh, the sound. The sound. Yeah, I've got the sound file, actually. Here we are. Here's the sound file. Fucking cunting. Cunt of a fucking shithead. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Cunt fucking beast. That's why I don't like the beast. Oh yeah. Beasts are good against elves. Fuck off. Um so yeah, that happened. Um so I got <laughs> Right, I can blit oh no, I can't blitz both of them. Can I break through this way? Not really. I just make a block first because I don't know what to do. That's a standard. 
Standard chaos tactic. I guess I have to blitz here and then go there and block there and stuff. It's fucking horrible though, isn't it? He's got to go in here. Oh my fucking life. It's actually pretty good. Maybe I could foul here. I'm down a player already though. Let me think. Let me think for a minute. Yeah, okay, fuck it. I'll make this one dice block first. Make the one dice block first. Oh god, get the power. Good bang on. I think now I'll go in there. It's not that I never foul jam to VIP jam toast. It's just that it's um it's usually not a good idea to foul, is it? That's the thing. But sometimes it is a good idea to foul, so it's good having it there for the 20, the 20 TV to be able to sometimes use it. Yeah, Will King. It wasn't. It, it was an okay, although he had the advantage in every, in every regard except number of players. His first block, Kaz, Nurgle Warrior, and that just, um, just fucking pissed me off. Twice having wrestlers at a block has fucked me here. Oh, man. Right. This is kind of tough, isn't it? With his... With, with not breaking armor there. Or maybe by fouling from there instead of there. Maybe I should have fouled from there. Beg your pardon. Could I reverse a little bit and come over here? Potato. I'd have to get a pow, I think. I'd right, see if I can get a pow here. Hmm. 
I guess he'll stand up. No, I did not get the power there, but still, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. How safe would it be? Not fucking very, seeing as this guy. Well, I'd have to blitz him and then make the dodge. And then he'd still just be able to dodge away there with dodge to 2D me. Get some in scoring range here. Maybe I should try to serve him or something. All I can do is blitz him anyway, isn't it? And have to follow it and not get served. No, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So now the only question is whether it one dice this guy or dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, no, it'd be here. And I mean, he'd just dodge away. But, well, he hasn't got a reroll, but he would dodge with dodge. One, two, three. Too easy, so I reckon just one dice here. Now he can wander. It's obviously the failure state of this is horrific. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. But I got the rerolls. It's only only cost me one in thirty six, doesn't it? Wrestle's fine. Well, Jalil, if you'd started at turn one, the first thing you'd have seen was a Kaz no regen on my best player. My fault for letting him get blitzed, but still didn't have to be a Kaz, did it? Didn't have to be a fucking Kaz. Right, here's the way I can chain this guy. Oh, doesn't look like it, does it? He's done quite well, bizarrely. Um, two dice him, then two dice him. Oh, I mean, what do I even do? Blitz him. 
Make a dodge and two GFIs. I don't even know what to do. <sighs> One dice block him. Move him in there, two dice him, but then he's got dodge anyway. And then... So block him that way. Move him in there, blitz him. Get the pal and a dodge. <sighs> Alright, then one dice, sir. I've rolled some fucking good dice, to be fair. Um, maybe you could GFI the blitz there, then it's uh, just a dodge. Then the push is good enough, isn't it? And it's, I'm going to have to make the dodge anyway. One, two, three. For blitz. If I could GFI the one dice blitz. That seems really poor, though, doesn't it? I could go there, one dice block with him for a push and then blitz there just needing a power would make it an easy run through and a push. okay so yeah maybe go this way more one dice blocks oh, fucking have to roll some dice here haven't I holy shit would really like the pow got him Didn't need a reroll in the whole half, isn't that crazy? Had some fucking luck though. We're getting the getting those one dices and shit. There's the movement one. Wish I'd taken block instead of wrestle now. It's still still low TV, isn't it? So blocks just better, really. I don't know what that fucking noise is upstairs. Cunts. Neighbor cunts. I think I had already saved it there, hadn't I? Oh, no, never mind. That was across the board, no trip, mate. It was miraculous. Yeah, plus movement has pretty, been pretty valuable this game, hasn't it? Already. It was just badly hurt, but it still pissed me off that he got it first block, you know. Well, I didn't need, I didn't, look, I didn't need knockdowns. I just needed pushes on, on the first block had to be a push. The second block had to be, like, on a one dice push. The second block just needed to be a push. The third one just needed to be a push. The one, the one dice had to be a push. Um, you know. God, this fucking noise, I'm just gonna mute myself.
Oh, God. Right, let's have a look. I'll have a look at chat here. Sorry, I was playing my clicker game. Um, what happened in that game versus Burn? I decided to play as stupid as Burn, but um, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, I'm really chat. I don't know. I'm just so fucking pissed off that his first block was a Kaz. It just, it just fucking, it didn't tilt me <laughs> because I think I've played okay this game, but it just fucking pissed me off. Ah, oh, yeah, the blinking ones is disturbing presence. Yeah, yeah. Minus one attempts to pass his intercept and catches. Yeah, yeah. And foul appearances, the block. Yeah. It used to be. It used to be that that. Um, Fowler the Peons was both and they split it in half just so they could give the Yeti one of them without the other which seems really really stupid because um, it would have been you know it, they, they nerfed all of the mutations except Claw which is just which is just well I guess Claw was a bit of a nerf it used to be plus two of the armor so I guess Claw was nerfed but obviously the fact that it, it it stacked with Mighty Blown piling on and everything, meant that it wasn't really nerfed. Um, so I don't know, it's just weird. It's weird that they like... They made... They made the only viable... Skill, the only viable mutation piling on, which is... Uh, claw, which is part of the problem of the Claw Palm thing, isn't it? Is there's just no point taking any other mutation. Good morning, VIP Hessian. Well, the SPP changed a long time ago. Um, Lou is... The SPP changed a long time ago. Um, but yeah, they really nerfed fouling. But, um, I mean, that's different than nerfing all of the mutations, isn't it? <laughs> No, very long legs. Yeah, they make that like that's what I mean. That so, that's part of the problem of of Clawpon being overpowered, isn't it? Is is the thing what people say of um <laughs> what what Lupak says with it is I like chaos because you can you can build them any way you want. Um, you can't because all of the other mutations are shit and not worth taking. They nerf tentacles. They nerf. They nerfed everything. So, so they made they made claw the only mutation that you can possibly take. I guess two heads. Two heads, fair enough. But you know, thanks for the follow, Snugbot. Um, so yeah, you know, like that was the fucking that was the problem with claw. Really, is that they just made they they nerfed all of the other mutations out of existence. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, you can see my face. <laughs> Long legs gave you plus one movement. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Every every Skaven got a runner just got extra 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 eggs, extra legs. Very long legs. Yeah, instantly. Yeah, and fouling was in third edition box set. Fouling was ridiculously, outrageously overpowered. Um, it was completely. Incredibly overpowered. Three, four, five, six, seven, two, five. So one dodge to get two dice in the ball isn't that bad, is it? Well, three, two, two to get two dice in the ball. I guess I swarm these guys in case I fail the dodge. And um, 
So I can't get two dice on here because of the guard. No, I guess I could put the guard in there. One, two, three, four, and then blitz him with him. Yeah, maybe that's worth it. He'll just run back. Hmm. Course, it's a fucking push, isn't it? Seventy five per cent doesn't work, absolutely fucking standard. Can't GFI away. You'll go there and get blitz knocked down. I like I just don't even know why I play Blood Bowl. <laughs> Oh, there's the fucking movement for. Why is it always crucial? I just fucking hate keeping move minus movement players. Jesus Christ. You'll go for it. Movement seven, come on. Extra arms are horrid, yeah. Big hand can be good, but it wasn't as good as it used to be. And, um... Horn's actually better. Horn's got buffed, didn't they? Yeah, Horn's actually got buffed. Crazily. So, um... Yeah, grudge match, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I reckon it's fucking horrible, isn't it? Oh, I just can't even... You can't see me. Oh yeah, peaked. Peaked was disgusting. Peaked and bad habits. I got I got hammered by both of those. God, just blood balls, just shit, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell! <gasps> Fucking hell! Oh man! Yeah. 
This guy, King Lottery player here, he gets the first block of the game. He badly hurts. He takes out him for the whole half, well, for the whole game, and now he gets a blitz to get him out for the whole for the whole game. Unbelievable! Just unbelievable! Like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Foul because I'm tilted. See, that would be tilted. If I made this foul, that would be tilt. But like saying stuff isn't being tilted, is it? You can now go for the blitz on him to get the power to base the ball. But if he does that and doesn't get them, oh, I could go here, that's maybe he's better, isn't it? Then that shows that up so he won't even try it. And he'd go around there to base the ball, but whoopity fuck if he does. Right, so he can block him down, he can block him. I just need to use my blitz on him. Maybe block him, but then I can't without the guard. Might as well make give up the mighty blow block there. Agility 4 on there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI, so I get here is the closest I can go. Alright, I can only get there anyway, that's good enough anyway, over the halfway line. That'll do me. 
Oh, the fucking Moomin 4 guy! Jesus Christ! I hate Moomin 4 guys. <laughs> Maybe I could put the guard in there and block him. Put him in. He could blitz, maybe. Just put the guard, then he could block him. Oh, it's a 1D. Oh, well, never mind. Get the power anyway. I don't give a shit. And then he can do two GFIs to do the blitz at the end after doing this block. That seems ridiculously risky. Let's try it. Got a reroll. You can block him first. I guess I could have done them one at a time, and then if I use the first one, don't make the second one a hit. the other hand. It's pretty good doing it, isn't it? It's kind of going okay, to be honest, Pedro Jack. He's down to 10 players. I've just had my fucking guard warrior killed. Oh no, I was badly hurt on a, on the block one. It's not so bad. I just thought, seeing as I'd said it was going okay, it would be fucking horrific. I'm down to 9 players on offense. He's got 10, but um, you know I'm better at blood ball than he is. So hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, I think that's the thing I'm going That it's this fucking format. It's like the World Cup, you know. It's just fucking bollocks. It's the it's the format that spoils it. If you just play Blood Bowl and you didn't care whether you won or lost, it'd be all right. But um, what what fucks it up is the caring. Yeah, going that bad blood mantis instantly, instantly forget about it. I'm just I'm just gonna mute for the rest of the day probably. I'll play something else. I'm probably just gonna play something else for the rest of the day.
I don't think they were greedy, Blood Man. Is I think they were essential. I think they were essential rather than greedy. Not what you can do when your opponent outmans, outstrength, outguards you. Fucking Christ! You know what can I do? He's not bad at Blood Bowl as well. Like if he was bad, I would have more of a chance, but he's not bad. I just think I'm better than him, as I, as I said. And Anta Arctic Antarctic once saying, I'm inviting enough of the screw me over. He already has done to an extent. But, um, yeah, that's the thing, I think. He's not bad. If he was bad, I'd feel confident of winning still, but unfortunately, he's not bad at Blood Bowl. <laughs> I bet this is the movement for one, isn't it? Oh, what a cunt. Right, if I put a player there... When I get the push, I clear it, don't I? But I really need a pow. <laughs> Got him. Can need a pow here, but obviously a push. Push just means I've got to make a GFI dodge as well as the two GFIs. Alright, movement seven. Movement seven has been has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, slim Jim exclamation point slim Jim. Yeah, there, there's always been an orgasm on the oh my god. I need to update the SFX. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Slim Jim. Yeah, Slim Jim. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, God. I guess that's kind of an orgasm -y one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you've got to ask. You've got to ask. Send <laughs> Um. I said, I guess that's an orgasm-y one, but you'd have to ask Senna <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to give up the sidelines. But I've kind of got to, haven't I? Got no fucking players. Got no fans. I want to keep them both central, don't I? Two turner for him, which isn't easy.
I'm only down one player now, so it's not so bad, is it? 10. 11 versus 10. Yeah, movement seven's very good. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It wasn't. <laughs> you want some? I'll give it. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no perms. No perms. They are both badly hurt, but you know, regen failed. But this was just the killer. This was the killer one because it was just first blow. And it was my fault. I, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have exposed him. It could have been the. It could have been the dirty player. Yeah, the only perm is my will to live, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Chat shit get banged, I love chat shit get banged. I should have a catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> and that. You got no fans. You want some? I'll give it ya. <laughs> he might not score, that's a good kick, isn't it? A good deep kick. He's got to make a passing play against Nurgle. Thank you very much, Spawn of Cthulhu. See, this is the thing. This is why I don't like it when people say I'm tilting. Because I think I kept my composure and, um, you know, hopefully have pulled it out of the bag. At least it's a draw. Um, you know, like, obviously I was pissed off. I was pissed off throughout, throughout the entire match. I didn't enjoy a single turn of the match. But, um... You know, I never stopped trying, never gave up or anything. It's just, it's fucking just hard, isn't it? It just pisses you off sometimes. Blood Bowl's a fucking hard game. Hard old game. Anyway, anyone who's interested in Fumble, here is the link um, to the changes on Fumble. I oh, made the pick up dirty dingo. He's got, he's got re rolls. One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI would get his um, thing in range of all of them. Like, he's got three guys who can score. He's already in range of some. So he's a GFI. So maybe just a GFI to there then, eh? Or you want to make the two GFIs though? Two GFIs make it so much harder for him. Because then he's affected by it as well. <coughs> he can dodge to get the assist there. Not that it really matters. It's just whether to make. <coughs> The GFI with him, because I'm died. Is whether make one GFI to mark him, but then he'll be out of range of thing. He won't be getting knocked down either. So fuck it. I think I make both. Fuck it. Bums fell over. push and 
Now he's his prime scoring threat, isn't it? Could one day him to get another guy on the ball there. Could just one day him, yeah. Maybe just get these guys on the well, that one guy on his feet. Make the dodge first. See if he is my reroll. Alright, so now I might as well make both GFIs. <laughs> and make this one D. Just because clearing the zone, clearing him make, make, makes his um, thing still affect everybody, doesn't it? Now he could dodge to base. Well, no. Make the 1D on him first. Pow. Good. So now he's based. You could double GFI to get more more tackle zones. Finally failed a thing. Uh. Yeah, I thought it was worth pushing my luck with all the things. All the things that I pushed my luck with I thought were worth pushing my luck with. Makes a random block first action. Interesting. Should have been punished with a double skull in my opinion. Yeah, the reason that I one dice the warrior on his killer was to was so that he couldn't push my dirty, my DP away. That was the thing. I was thinking if I don't just push him, or like if I don't free his tackles on, he'll just block me away, and then I won't be having, won't be having it on these two guys. But I mean, I guess his, his plan is to free him anyway, which is a good job I made those GFIs there. Maybe I should have followed it just to occupy them. Don't know. Rage quits coming anyway, I think. Spawn of Cthulhu. He kind of deserved that for making this rando block first. Alright, that's okay. I see what he did there. That's fair enough, isn't it? That's a fair play there. But only gets the push. Not, that's not going to be good enough for him. But he still. It was good that I made those two GFIs now, isn't it? So he's still in disturbing presence range. So it's 4 plus catch. 4 plus pass, 4 plus catch, 4 plus dodges, no rerolls. Oh no, it's a 3 plus pass because of the, um, the agility. Ah, but the intercept chance. Alright, roll the 1. Alright, fair enough then. Survived this fucking horrible game.
Might as well try to get star player points. Alright, I'll do a foul on, on him, plus one foul on the last turn. Yeah, he did well to clear the tackle zone before. I thought he would have just. No, I didn't know what he was going to do, but um, I, he, he was he was he was fine at blood ball. He wasn't he wasn't a bad coach at all. If he was a bad, it would have been a lot easier. It's frustrating when when they get that when they get that first turn kill. Well, okay, badly hurt, no regen, and then they're not shit. If he'd been shit, it would have been it'd have been all right. But he was not shit. He was he made us. I mean, I had to get pretty lucky to score both touchdowns really. So um. Did I block him a lot though, which was good. I mean, he was basing a lot, I guess. So, but the um, the fucking movement was was fantastic there, wasn't it? That was that was absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go block. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go block rather than piling on, and probably just go guard next. Because mm. what no glory is piling on isn't isn't ideal, is it? Um. MVP for his yeah MVP for getting for getting badly hurt and not regening on turn one. <laughs> right, I I definitely replace this guy now because I'm just pissed off with him being moving for it was it was pretty crucial in that game he made two 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 GFIs because he was moving for and uh, and a wrong play because he was he was moving for. I regret having two wrestlers now in future I think I'll just have one. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly, Pedro Jack. Um <laughs> Yeah, he did one block that did nothing. He got a stun. He got power and a stun. Three dice block. Um Yeah, so I reckon I reckon block then guard then piling on. Um yeah. Yeah, block then guard then piling on. So So let's go block. And then the others will go. The others will probably go block, mighty blow, claw, guard. Yeah, I'm thinking about a new pest to go. Yeah, Imperator Augustus. I am thinking about the the third pest to go. I'm thinking about it. Um, because I've got I've got over 150. Um, so I'll either get the twelfth. Rotter or the or the like well the twelfth. I'll get the twelfth player. Rotter or Pestigo. I guess a Pestigo but I mean this guy wants to carry because he's movement seven and block, but he can do a job. Like he can do something if the rookie's carrying it to get skilled up as well. So um Yeah, I will get I think I probably will get the Pestigo now. So it's a, it's a gr it's still a great record. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.